Hi, I'm Jonah from Hunting the Wild. Have you ever wondered how to make a subscribe button with Infomora 9? Well, we're going to take a look at that today. Alright, so we're going to make our subscribe button. And to get started, we're going to go right here to Titles. And I'm going to use one of these a sample lower third, this default lower third one here, and add it to my timeline. The next step I'm going to do is just double click to bring up the title editor. Next, I click Advanced. The Advanced Text Edit gives me the ability to take this a little further. So I'm going to go right here to the Shapes and choose this rounded rectangle. And I'm going to click and move it down here to the corner to the same area where this other sample text was and I'm just resizing using these handlebars here so I can resize again I'm just choosing a, a size that looks good that looks good here on the sidebar I can scroll down and I'm going to choose a new color so I get the ability to change the color that looks good as well and I scroll back up. I'm going to change the text. Oops. Here we go. Subscribe. Just like that. And now I'm going to click down here to select the other text box and click the trash can to delete. So now I have just my regular subscribe button. Now it doesn't do anything amazing except for it just shows up as a subscribe. So if I wanted to give it more of a dynamic feel, I can take a look at the animation tab. So I'm going to just scroll down and see what type of different styles I have here. This is a specific one. But before I can do that, I need to make sure I've selected my subscribe button. So I'm going to go down again. So I can double click and see how each of these are. Ah, no, that will not work. Let's try this boom one. Oh, perfect. That boom one gives me the effect I'm looking for. Now this boom one, sadly enough, does not have an intro or an outro uh, animation sequence to where I can control it further. But this is fine for now because it just shows up like that. So subscribe, roughly a few seconds and disappears. Perfect. So the next thing I want to do is click Save as Custom and name it. Click OK. Click OK again, and now my subscribe button is ready for me to use for future videos. To test it, I'm going to add the one I have here that I just created, and now I have subscribe button. Thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. Uh, leave your comments below on other things you'd like to see created with Femora 9. Have a good day.